Welcome back. So in part one of our uh, defense videos, we had a little intro, got in the classroom, found our assignment, quickly looked over uh, the basics of the rubric and how you'd be assessed. Then we created our showcase and we added our three artifacts to our showcase. Okay, our three pieces of work that we're going to use for our defense. Once we're done with that, again, you, you can see number nine is move on to the directions on slide four. Um, there's a chance I'm going to put that first video right here underneath slide two. So maybe, um, maybe you'll be going to the directions on slide five. Okay, just keep that in mind, but you'll find them. Okay, so you'll find that the cut, these first two are are probably pretty easy uh, to get through, at least easy to um, easy to figure out what to do with them. So number one, title slide, change the title and your name. If you turned it in and it still said your title by Jeff Jefferson, that would feel really weird, right? So you can change it to whatever you want. Um, okay, you can't call it this because now this is my title, but um you'll come up with something all right number two um so on slide eight add at least five facts about yourself okay that number you can definitely do more but we just need to know who you are so tell us about yourself. Um, my advice, skip things we already know. You don't need to tell us you're 17 or 18 or 19. We get it, right? A lot of times it'll be like, I'm a 17-year-old girl that goes to Wagner. It's like, dude, we know. Like, what are you into? What do you do? Like, do you have a job? Um, what are your interests? Do you do you play chess? Um, you like soccer? You play video games? Are you into D&D? Play drums. You got a dog. Are you really into pizza? You know, it is whatever. <laughs> but tell us some stuff about you. And whoever you are is interesting. Okay. If you want to be extra cool, get a picture on here of yourself or something you're interested in, something that's you. All right. Um, there will be a bunch of examples of defenses in classroom for you to look at if you want some inspiration. Okay. All right. But check it out. That's number one and two on completing your slideshow, changing the title and your name on the title slide. And then the next one is just telling us who you are. All right. Okay. So slide three, sorry, direction three. is about your first artifact, your your uh, piece of work for prepared and resilient learner. OK, so you have four questions to answer for each of your three artifacts. OK, so question one, what is this artifact? On that question, you're going to tell us not just what the assignment was, but like everything about it. Who assigned it? What year did you get it assigned in? Um, how long did it take? Um, like, tell us exactly what the assignment was, too. Like, this was a project for math isn't really that descriptive. Like, we really want to know, like, what what were you supposed to be learning? What were you showing that you know how to do? Uh, be thorough in your explanation, please. Why are you proud of it? The idea is that you've chosen work that you're proud of for some reason, okay? Maybe it was just really difficult and it took a long, long time. Uh, maybe it was something you didn't feel like you were good at, and at the end of it, you did. Whatever reason you can think of that you feel proud of this piece of work, that's what we want you to share. All right? Question three. And question three is going to be the most difficult one for all of these, right? How has it helped me become a prepared and resilient learner? Well, to answer that, you have to know what it means to be a prepared and resilient learner. So to be a prepared and resilient learner, we talked about it in the last video, but... Um, Resilient, you don't give up, you keep going, all right? That's the thing you really want to focus on. This thing was really, really difficult. I managed to get it done all the same, 
I struggled with this and I got it done. Um, there were times I did not even like this thing, but I still did it. You know, that's resiliency. So that's the kind of thing you want to focus on. Fourth, how has it helped prepare you for the future? This is an important question because this is what we want to know. Yes, you learned it. Yes, you're proud of it. Yes, it displays the skill, but how's it going to help you? Okay, and I know you guys will come up with some great answers for that. This is most of the work, okay, is really speaking deeply to your three artifacts. So if you go to step four, your second artifact, what was your second piece of work that you put in the showcase? That's the one you need to speak to now. Okay, now let's just say, for example, I know it was, in this case, in our example, it was effective communicator. I actually need to change this, so I will. Effective communicator, being good at expressing yourself, um, or, or getting better at presenting your ideas, right? Um, slideshows, um, presentations you had to do in front of the class, uh, even papers. Uh, um, can be great examples of effective communicator, right? You are communicating your ideas. And if you have ways in which you've done it that weren't comfortable, that's even better, right? Like some people don't like getting up and talking in front of people, but if you had to do it and you came out the other end, you got something good out of that. So that would be a good one for effective communicator. Um, how has it helped me become, if you choose this one, globally and culturally competent citizen? Um, Being a globally and culturally competent citizen is like becoming a citizen of the world, like understanding and learning more about other cultures, or just being a good citizen, um, you know, anywhere. So if you have done things that can be categorized as outreach or um, helping people, right? Learn about other cultures, um, helping people, learning more about um, you know, maybe the lesser qualities of our own culture still works. Okay. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for here. Okay. If you chose the merging innovator, we're probably, we're probably looking for assignments, projects, um, that have you creating things, okay? Um, innovation is, is doing something new, all right? So uh, a lot of times we think of like science class and doing uh, projects in science class, like I know the freshmen uh, do the egg drop, right? They have to innovate, they have to make their own thing. Um, but it's not just science class. Um, you know, an art class, I know some students, uh, do some graphic design um, and art and other things, and they're they're creating something new. Okay, um, some of our our computer classes, our uh, classes in in IT academy, you're creating things that are new. That would be a good example of uh, emerging innovator. Okay. Lastly, productive collaborator, uh, working well with others. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes being a productive collaborator isn't always easy. Right? It doesn't always feel positive in the moment. You're just doing what you have to do to get it done. And those are good stories to share too. Okay. So if you guys have some group work, that's that fits the bill. Lastly, we talked briefly about school signature item. Um, and we'll leave prepared resilient learner here for this one. But, uh, you know, if you have earned a certification uh, through your academy pathway, you can use that as one of your three. Okay, so for your other two, whichever they may be, let's just say they're effective communicator, you'll come here and answer the four questions. Okay, for your third one, let's say it's productive collaborator, you'll go and answer the four questions. And you can just answer them right on the slide. You might need to change the font size, stuff like that. You might need us to add a second slide for each of them if that's what you want to do but you'll just answer them right on here, okay? All right. 
Now, remember, that's most of the work. Answering your four questions for your three artifacts is most of the work. Um, step six, plans for the future. All right. You just have four questions to answer for this slide, too. What are you doing after you leave Wagner? What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? Uh, what steps will you take to meet your goals? And that should be thorough. Like, what will you actually literally do? Um, that's important. How has Wagner helped prepare you to meet this goal or these goals, whichever it may be? Um, so if you don't know what you're doing after you leave Wagner, I guess just consider this a happy accident. You get to figure it out <laughs> to uh, do your defense and get it turned in. So maybe this will just be its own version of helpful. Okay. Um, it's nice when people put a picture in here. Sometimes people put like what school they're going to or even like the place that they work or pictures of their families, depending on what it is their plans are after school. And it, it feels nice. Okay. Um, definitely have seen a, a number of college acceptance le letters, pictures of that on the slide. And um, it's nice to see too. So, okay. Now, step seven. <laughs> Conclusion, give us some goodbye message. Say goodbye to Wagner in whichever way you see fit. Um, it's like your last chance to, to say goodbye. So what do you say something? Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing those, actually. All right. Step eight. Uh, this one gets skipped a lot. Please don't. Change the background. Change the fonts. Make this thing look a little bit more like your thing and a little less like my thing. And when you look at the examples in Classroom, assuming you do, you'll see that people do whatever the heck they want. All right? Now, let's say that you've done steps one through eight on this slide, and you're on step nine. This is The rest of it is... There's not much to it, okay? Go back to backpack.jcps.me uh, slash showcases. And all I want you to do is come up here, click the three dots, and click Mark as Defense Ready, okay? Click Mark as Defense Ready. And I think I actually need to add a direction here. I'm going to. I'm going to do this. I think it might be six slides by the end of all things. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's going to be six slides. I want you to delete these slides that you don't need. Okay, there'll probably be another one of these. Right. So all of these extra slides that aren't your defense, I just want you to delete them off of there because we don't we don't need them in there, right? Um, that would be great. All right. Turn in your assignment classroom. Only way I'm going to know to grade it, okay? Only way I'm going to know to grade it is if you go to classroom and click turn in. Okay, that's really important. Uh, because there's so many of you and we're not doing them any sort of schedule. I just need you to click turn in. All right. Okay. And then it just says your scores will be returned via Google Classroom. And they will be. There is a little, a little disclaimer here at the bottom. You can format this any way you like. You can delete slides. You can make your own slides. You can make more. Uh, this thing is meant to help you, not to hinder your creativity. So you do what you want to do. All right. As long as you have all the pieces in there. Um, that's all that matters, all right? This was meant to be a support, um, not to keep you from throwing down some some signature awesomeness, all right? Okay, that's it. We did it. Um, that's all of your defense. Granted, I know it'll it'll take um it'll take 
some time to get it done. But you got this. Um, holler at me through Classroom if you need any help. Okay.